What's up guys, it's Nicole here and welcome back to my channel. You can probably see the camera in the reflection but I'm going to show you guys how I edit my Instagram photos. So this is my Instagram. I basically have a bunch of different photos on there. I've got all different ones. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I edit photos like this. Okay, so I'm going to start off by going to my photos folder. Excuse this nail, by the way. Like, it got damaged. Look at the difference. Um, I just couldn't wait. It dried. But anyway, so the main apps that I use to edit my Instagram photos is Airbrush. <coughs> is Airbrush and Snapseed. I used to use VSCO quite a lot, but I just... I don't know. I don't like it as much now. I just... Can't be bothered doing all that because this already has a lot of steps. So I mainly use Airbrush and Snapseed. And the only thing that I use Airbrush for is basically to lighten the background mainly. And also like smooth skin if I wanted to. The main thing that I use it for is to whiten the background. So I just go down to the bottom where it says whiten and this is mainly used for teeth but I like to use it just for my background so as you can see the background is whitening a lot more and it just makes the photo look a lot brighter and that's why I like to do it um I do have a white wall I used to have a green wall and I used to do it on that because I didn't like the green wall in my photos it didn't look good so I would make it white um, but now I have a white wall, it just doesn't stand out as much, so I do it with this. So as you can see, the difference, this is the before and this is the after. I don't know, you can't, you can't really tell, like it's much of a difference. <coughs> you can't really tell that it's much of a difference, but it definitely looks brighter. And I like it like that. The so after I whiten, I like to go down to skin tone and I do this on my skin obviously. Um, sometimes I like to do it, not all the time, but if I just want my skin looking a little bit more tan, then I do that because you can like literally make it tan, you can make it look lighter. Um, it's really up to you and what you like. So I'm going to just, this is the original photo, I'm just going to make it, I'll say there. So if you guys can tell the difference, I just made myself a little bit more tan because the colour in the photos doesn't turn out completely how I want it. So after I do that, I save the photo and then I go to Snapseed and I, I use Snapseed to basically edit the colours in the photo. So I'm going to go up to Tune Image. This is the main thing that I use in Snapseed and I just like to up the brightness a little bit and the contrast. And basically get it to like how I like it. Sometimes I like to add um, the ambience, ambiance. I really don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but I don't add too much, just a little bit. And then if you want to add warmth, but it adds it to the whole photo. So I just like to do the saturation, the contrast and the ambiance mainly. You can also go back to airbrush and if I want to like widen the background or anything, I do that as well. So like anything that's grey or like my top or anything, I can do that and it makes it brighter as well. And then another thing that you can do is if you don't want something in your photo, like I have a cord here and I don't like it there, you can like reshape it out of your photo. Um, but I don't want to do it here because it's like making the photo go really weird. I never really use reshape because it does change like the shape of your whole photo. And yeah, so I never really use that. I kind of just like it how it is. And yeah, so after that I save it. And yeah, so once you're done editing in both Snapseed and Airbrush, I like to go in to Instagram and basically just crop out my photo how I want it to be and then sometimes I go into edit and use these features like if I want it a little bit more brighter or anything like that but I don't but I like it how it is so I'm going to leave it like that and yeah but there's a bunch of different 
effects that you can use in Instagram and like editing things that you can use if you don't have editing apps. But yeah, so after that I like to go to the filters and sometimes I use Clar Clarendon and sometimes I use Juno just because it like adds more colour into it as well and I also like to use Ludwig and I like to adjust it to see like how much of the effect I want. I don't like to do it full. I just kind of move it down to where I like it. So I'm going to put it at 56. If I'm editing something like a selfie, basically I just first of all rotate this because it is sideways. And so I mainly just basically do the same things except sometimes I like to zoom in and smooth out my skin because I don't know if you guys can tell but you can see my pores quite a bit and my skin just looks really rough in this photo so I like to smooth it out sometimes only in the places that I think needs it um also this tends to kind of like diffuse your highlight just a little bit so honestly if you don't want that then don't smooth it out but I just like to do it a little bit and then just smooth out my skin like that after I do that I like to go in and then whiten the background again I think this just adds a pop of color to the whole photo and it just makes it look a lot better and cleaner and like fits in with your background if you guys have a theme or anything like a white theme or anything this definitely helps but yeah, I just like to do it so that I stand out a little bit more in the photo. And yeah, so this is like the before and the after of the background. Yeah, I like to do that. And then sometimes I will go in and like brighten my eyes up just a little bit. Because I think this like makes it pop out more. So after I smooth out my skin and widen the background, sometimes I go back in with the skin tone. And I add it if I want to make myself look a lot tanner and darker in this photo i don't want to i just like it how it is but yeah that's basically it guys and i then go back into the contrast and everything like i did with the other one and yeah but that's all guys that's how i edit my instagram photos and i hope you guys like this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and go and check out my instagram guys self-promotion <laughs> um but yeah if you guys want to go follow me on instagram you can do that and yeah i will see you guys in my next video please hit that subscribe button and leave a like see you guys in my next video bye Oh yeah, check out my nails, guys. They're bomb.